Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Professor Stephen Larolotu from International Association. Please join me on every time to at 3 o'clock, you know, to hear what God is for us at this time, the message of the Kofalogist of Christ the second time. Very needful at this time, the former back of Kofalogist of Christ important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come don't come alone because it is very very special and necessary it shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our lord jesus christ thank you story of love. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ towards humanity who died on the cross of Calvary to redeem life of everyone. This is the reason why we have come again today. We want to say good morning to everyone in the morning. Good afternoon. If your time is in the afternoon, if you are in the evening, good evening. I know 24 hours is a day. You shall be blessed today in Jesus' name. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be well with your soul. Amen. By the power in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, things shall work well for good for your life and your household in Jesus' name. Amen. Things shall not be made difficult for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are more Amen. than conqueror. You are victorious man and woman, sisters and brothers. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Jesus who brought Peter out of imprisonment shall bring you out of your hiding in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Once again, you are welcome. This is International Christian Association, as it is on the screen, to so many who have been part of this program, we do tell you that it's not a church program. It is an assignment given to us to go and talk about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. And most importantly, to let people know that there are some things they needed to do to practice here or not for them to be part of that kingdom of God. He said the kingdom is not about eating and drinking, but walking in the righteousness, love and peace of the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ. And that is the reason why we have come. To let us know that this world that we are in is running a race on a daily basis. And when you come to Israel, bus stop one day, after that bus stop, judgment. After judgment, there are two places either the kingdom of God or hell. We will not end up in hell in Jesus' name Amen. if only we practice what God is asking us to practice. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, you are welcome. If you want to know how far we have gone, why don't you visit YouTube and search for Prophet Lord to you. We see almost everything that I'll be talking about there. As well as the studio now we're on Facebook. You can share with somebody that yet yeah, you know the the the, the 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 most important message of this age is the message of the kingdom of God what God wants us to do to live a peaceful life here or not before the kingdom of God comes. No wonder Jesus Christ said, now that I am with you, the kingdom of God is among you. Hallelujah. Amen. And yes, if you if you have somebody in Nigeria, Africa, why don't you tell that person to be to join us on Legend Platform TV on subscription in Nigeria. As when the children of that person should be able to go along with us too. Hallelujah. Amen. And and as well, why don't you back up to somebody, you know, either near or far. Let them know that, yes, there's a message going on right now on Faith World TV, Channel Sky 588. It's a message that people should be adhering to at this particular time. It's very scarce. 
but it's very necessary. It is a needful for everyone to know how to work for the kingdom of God. Like I said, kingdom of God goes beyond singing, goes beyond you know, you know, preaching, it goes beyond fasting and praying. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But it's about doing the righteousness and the will of God. Amen. Amen. And the Lord will bless us and <coughs> bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, there's another thing that we want you to know is that yeah, God has given an assignment to just speak as a fellowship to talk about his word, on diluted word of God. You know why the program will be going by, you see almost all of them on the screen. No other thing, it's not a short thing, it's about fellowshipping together as people of God. Either you are Haitis, you are Muslim, you call yourself a Christian, whatever you call yourself, maybe by the time we speak about this word of God, Somebody will know, you know, for himself will know what and what will be the end of his race here on that. You don't need anybody to tell you what will be the aftermath of your race here on that. When you understand the word of God that will set you free of me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, if you want to know more about uh, International Christian Association, we have our line phone number on the, on the screen. We should be able to tell you everything about you know what we do for the kingdom of god to come like i said very soon, by the grace of god in may between 12 and 14 we're going to have our may you know retreat it's going to be on 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 plan i mean on zoom but by, by next week i should be able to bring you know the uh the link you know on the on the tv so that we can be part of what god wants us to to do, to know, through his word, by his word, at this particular time. Without word, you cannot understand God. But when you understand the word of God, then you know what God really wanted for you and I, for the kingdom to come. It shall be well with us as we do say in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my name is Professor Malari Lutu. The same man of God becoming, we are here together. I know that person, the evangelist. Raphael, I'm boy. God bless you, sir. Amen. For another glorious <coughs> time, another time. You know, that I believe every time is of the Lord. We have no time of our own. You go says you come, you can't go further. From this point, you can't argue with him. But the time he has given to us to, you know, to still walk and, and talk and it should be for the Lord. Mm. And that Lord shall be you know, it shall be a praising, Amen. you know, unto the Almighty God in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, once again, you are welcome. Before we move on to what God is having for us today, can I ask the man of God to pray for us in a minute? Over to in you. the name of Jesus, Amen. we are thank you, Lord, Father. Yes. Because of the power of restoration that manifested, yes. that brought new life to us. Yes, Lord. And we are here again to continue dwelling in that new life. Yes, Lord. May your word today mm. be fresh in our life. Amen. That every listener today be blessed. Amen. If there's any darkness in life of anyone today, let that your word send it, that darkness away. Amen. And bring light, light into their life. Amen. That all glory, all honor will be given unto you. Amen. Have your way and lead us aright. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah to hallelujah. the glory of the Almighty yeah. God. Amen. Amen. Ah, we praise Him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise Him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise Him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise Him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting. This is what God is saying to me that I should tell somebody that he's bringing you out of your calamity now. God said, tell that person, claiming that God says he's bringing you out of that calamity. Out of that sorrow, your head is being bowed already. Boy, you want to lift you up. Yes, 
Yes, the Lord want to lift you up. Trouble is bowing you down. You think the whole world is collapsing over you. God says, I should tell you that yes, it's bringing you up. You are coming out of that trouble. Say the Almighty God to that person that is hearing. Shout that hallelujah as hallelujah. you can. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is it that God is giving to us again today? You know that word that I've been talking about? Taking us back to the school of life where God began with humanity. He created the garden, he created man, he created everything there. And on our faces, the whole thing crumbled. But thank God for Jesus Christ who came to give life back to us in order for us to understand what is Father in heaven, our Father in heaven, your Father, my Father in heaven, you should believe in him that is your Father, wanted in heaven. After a while, for a long time, we'll be talking about this. God said, I look down from heaven. I can't forget that language. I look down from heaven. And I can be hearing noises. I'm hearing noises now from heaven. The noise I don't expect. Who are the people that are making this noise? They, they say the heirs of Abraham. Those who believe that Abraham is their father. And they are still fighting on that trade. That, yeah, Abraham is my father. You can't claim Abraham more than I do. After all, I'm his son, the language is Abraham, I mean, it's Isaac, um, Ishmael, say Muslim and Christians. They are the people that are just fighting, talking. Why most of them leave what I expected from them behind? Hallelujah. We've we'll been talking about this for a while. And we can see here the noise around us today. Instead of doing what God wanted from us. We left everything behind. And sometimes they're going to be talking about why Jesus' way is the best. The Lord was the one giving all this word. Go and say this. Why Jesus' way is the best? Enough of argument. Jesus' way is the best because he came to teach us the mind of the Lord. What he wanted from us. What man should be doing that we left behind. That was why the way of Jesus Christ was the best. He came to practice what Father in Heaven wanted. Unlike other leaders we have around today, what they did that, you know, is not bearable to the mind of the Lord here. Jesus Christ was the only one in his, you know, go and, and check everything about Jesus Christ. You will see that he overruled the feelings of man, feelings of the flesh, for his life. Hallelujah. Amen. And today, we're talking about prayers. I don't know why God is asking us to talk about prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe God knows that somebody needed much understanding about what it is to pray. And the Lord will teach us how to pray today. And much more that we understand the reason for prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. I still don't understand what God will want me to say about it. And he's the one who knows the reason and who will benefit from what will be coming from this point today. Hallelujah. Amen. What is prayer? Prayer is to, you know, it's about bringing petition before a higher authority. Who is this higher authority from the beginning? God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we began to see the falling of men, blah, blah, we cannot say that, you know, bring a petition to God or to an object of worship. In terms of maybe thanksgiving, you know, adoring somebody, praising somebody, you know, you, you, just, you give adoration to someone, you bow for someone, you worship somebody, you accredited some to somebody. We could see that after the falling, we could see that man now recognizes authorities over them. At that particular time, we know that whoever is, is your boss, you worship, you adore, 
you listen to. You know, you, you take your petition to, you request something from him or her. Maybe this is what God is saying today, I don't know. Maybe he sees somebody sharing his position as God to be praying to, 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 to relate to. God who's supposed to, you know, to take our, our, our request. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe it says that you give that position to another person. No one that says he can never share glory with anyone. Maybe God sees that the problem we have that might affect our kingdom is that, yeah, we don't pray to him alone anymore. There are other gods that we pray to. There are images we pray to. Object that we worship in our society, in our environment, in our secret of the secret, that when you think nobody sees, even your heart, amen, maybe this is, this is the thing God wants us to, even when you pray in your heart to an idol, to a God, where even you think you trust God, and, and God knows that you don't trust me, you, you trust your friend, you trust somebody beside you, somebody created by God, an image you made, you bow down to that image, and you expect, you know, a peaceful word from that environment, from that relationship. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe the reason why things are not working well with this is that you have some other gods around you, not the Almighty God, gods around you. Images around you, objects around you, that you, you know you you, you 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 pour out your mind to, your petition to, your supplication to. Hallelujah. Amen. And there's no time you want to talk about all this that we are not going to you know you know fall back to the to the creator and the creator at the beginning of the world. In order for us to really understand, if you want a better life for ourselves, what do we do? And how do we need to do them? So go and talk about prayer. So what does he say to us in the book of Genesis chapter 2? Let's see verse 7 to 9. What does he say to us? And the Lord God formed man of the, and, of the dust of the ground. And the Lord God <coughs> formed man from the dust. He formed us, he formed us from the dust. They after he now form man from the dust. What, do, what, what does this do to them? The dust of the ground. Yes. And breath into his nostrils. And he now breath to the nostril of the man he made. The breath of life. Yes. Man became a and, living being. And the breath of life made man to become a living being. The Not a dead being. A living soul. That you find yourself today came by the breathing of life of God to man that generated to our region, you know, our, our generation of today. The word of this is, sir. The Lord God planted the garden eastward. And uh, the Lord now planted the garden. And there he put the man whom he, for, he had formed. And he now put the man he formed. And out of the ground, and out of the ground, the Lord made every tree grow. And the Lord made everything grow around him. That is pleasant to the sight of good and good for good. And you know, everything that, that is good for eyes to see was created for man to see, to and behold, to enjoy. And, to, and for food. And for food. The tree of life was also in the And there the was garden. a tree of life in the same garden. And the tree of knowledge of good. And, and you evil. want to ask me, but God has given life to man when he breathed to his nursery. And God planted life around him. There are things that you see today that you behold that can give you life. And there are things that you can behold today around you that can give you death. Condemnation. So everything is around us. But what does he say to him, to man? Verse 15. In verse 15, what does he say? Then, then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden. Now the Lord him. now put man in that same garden. To tend and keep it. To tend and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man. And the Lord now commanded the man. Saying. Saying. Of every tree of the garden. Of every tree or in this garden. You may freely eat. You may freely eat to Vasitisa. 
Yeah. Go ahead, sir. But of the tree of the knowledge of, of the tree evil, of the knowledge, you know, are good and evil. Are you good and evil? There's a tree of knowledge here. You shall not eat. When you eat, eat. For in the day that you eat it, you know, this the tree will give you life and death, though. But the day you eat it, you shall surely die. You shall surely die. And the Lord God said. And the Lord God said. It is not good that man should be alone. It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper. You will see the kind of communication between God and man here. The Lord made me to that. He had this chat with him before he created what he created with him. I will make him a helper. I will make him a helper to him. Comparable with him. So God doesn't want you to be alone. He doesn't want us to be alone without a supernatural communication with man. He wants you to communicate with him. If you want to live a good life, supernatural life. You don't want to live a miserable life. Learn to communicate with God, the Almighty God, starting from today. Hallelujah. Amen. We are still going to talk about so many things about what I think God wanted from us here. Let's see what Genesis chapter 3 says to us. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Now we were made to know that in that same garden, there's a scenario whereby we now realize that there's a serpent in the garden that is more cunning, cunning than any beast. Very, very tricky than any other breeze and any other, you know, you know, animals in that other realm, because there's another power around. There's another communication. We are going to hear it. What does he say, Father, sir? And he said to the woman. And he said to the woman. As God indeed said. As God indeed said. You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. You shall not eat of every tree, every fruit in this garden. And the woman said to the And the woman now said to the serpent. We may eat the fruit of the You know, of as the God was communicating with them before, as they led to God before, and serpent now came again, and the same communication, the same relationship now began with the serpent. In fact, it was when God was speaking, I knew what God was saying. I said, wow, 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 wow. wow. The same thing that God was doing with them, they sat with God. They, you know, they, 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 they write their prayer to God. They ask from the Lord. They talk to God. They sat with Him. It was the same chat here that is happening abroad before men. Uh, then what happened to man? From seven. From seven start, to verse from, to verse nine. Uh, then the eyes of the of both of them were open. After they have now done what God said in His own communication. Said they must not do. They violated it, and their eyes were open. And they knew that they were naked. In communicating with devil, it will make you to do what is not favorable to your soul, to my soul. All devil wanted from us is an error against the will of God. In communicating with God, you will know more about what he wanted from you. He told them, the day you eat from this, you will die. God made himself clear to man. In prayer, God will make himself clear to you. You will make yourself clear to God. Even when you are hiding from God, he will tell you, you are still hiding from me. Hallelujah. In your prayer, who are you praying to? Who are you sending your petition to? Nobody can deceive God. If you are the one that is delaying your you know, relationship with God, look into it today, prayer. We make you, we make you to build a rapport with the Almighty God, not ghosts, not objects, not images that have eyes 
and ye cannot see. They have mouth. They painted their mouth even with red. They cannot talk. That their eye, they might even they, that their ear, they might even make it gold. They cannot hear. They can they let they make for them. Some cannot move. You carry them. But nobody carries the Almighty God. He carried himself. That was why he created you and I. In his image, you can carry yourself. You can walk. Hallelujah. He says something for that, sir. What does he say? And they should pick trees. And they, 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 after they have eaten what they said, they should not eat. They should not touch at all. They find themselves naked. And they now should cover for themselves. Leave. And you know how long leave could stay before dry up. And what happened? And they had the son of the Lord God. And it is the same communication the because day. God will always come to them. He, he was the one who put them there, never leave them in the garden without attending to. He do come to them, they shout together, give them instructions. And he still come the same way. Anytime either you have been that arrow, don't think God is not around you, he's with you, he's around you. What do you do to him? What do you say in that error? Hallelujah. Amen. What do you do in that error? What do I do? Then what happened thereafter, sir? Lord God walking in the garden. And the, the Lord cool now of the day. walking to the same garden in the cool time of the day. And Adam and his wife. In the evening time, as usual. And Adam and his wife hid themselves. They hid the themselves from the presence of the Lord. They hid themselves from the presence of among God. Among the trees of the gardens. Among the trees of the garden, can you hide for God? Nobody can hide for God. Then the Lord God called to Adam. And the Lord God called to Adam and said to him. He said to him, Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Then what does he say? First Which time. means God do communicate with you and he wants you to, to communicate to him in prayer. I mean, some people, they believe in crying in more money other than praying. Crying is not prayer. Prayer is to raise a petition before the Lord. Prayer is about to go before the Lord, you know, to lay your supplication. Prayer is not about kneeling down. Prayer is not about stand, standing up. It's not about, you know, it's not about sleeping. It's about communicating with God, releasing what you have in your heart before the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when you find yourself in trouble, what are you saying? What are you doing? I found one man, and I found a strange thing in the Bible. In the days of Jonah, <laughs> when God sent him to Nadifi, he was running away. And they threw me to water. And the Lord had prepared that fish, that shark, that we swallow him. And the Bible says, in, inside the fish, he started to pray. When he found himself in trouble, the Lord opened him up. He opened his, his understanding that you are in the fish, you are in the belly of the fish. You might not come out here. I know as much as I see living. What he remembers, I need to communicate with God here. Because God knows the importance of prayer. Pray to him. He cherishes you so much. You are saying to God, you are the only one I honor in my life. That is the meaning of prayer. You are the only one I honor in my life. You are the only one I trust that will help me in my life. You are the only one that I know that can do what nobody can do in my life. That is what prayer is all about. But the moment you bring another person into the equation, God will now say to you, you have shared my glory with another person. It might be difficult for such a prayer to have you know, a total release of freedom from, from God. That is where you will see devil coming to struggle with God over your life, over my life. Hallelujah. Amen. He said to him, verse 17, verse 17 what does he say? Then to Adam, then to Adam, he said, God said, 
Because you have heeded the voice of your wife. Because you have you have listened to the voice of your wife, God was now giving the judgment. And have eaten from the tree of which I you have now eaten tree. from the tree. I said you must not eat. You shall not eat of it. You, yes. Cause is the ground for you. Is it cause is the ground? There will not be a result to whatever we do before the Lord. Whoever you pray to determines the kind of result you receive. Hallelujah. Amen. We are still going to talk about so many things about this, you know, issue called prayer. Because the reason why God wanted, you know, mentioned not to him, he'll, be, he'll still be releasing what he wants us to know. In in toil, you, you shall eat of it in all the days of your life. In toil, you will be toiling for the rest of your life. Who are you that is praying? Who are you praying to? Are you praying to God who can give you a clear, you know, way out of your trouble? If, even when God has, when that God is speaking to you, do you still believe in him? Or you believe in the errors or the, the, the serpent of today's bringing your way. Images of the world, they are spirit too, what they are saying, ministering to you to do. What they are saying to you that will happen that will never happen. Who are you praying to? Who is, who is ministering to you in prayer? Prayer of your soul, prayer of your mind, prayer of your eyes. Ah, how I wish, how I wish this person is mine. How I wish they belong to me. And when you can't get it, you know how you know what you go for. What I go for. Prayer. Who are you praying to? What kind of prayer are you are you releasing to the environment where you dwell? Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say to us at the book of Genesis chapter 4? <clears throat> Let's see from verse 1. We are talking about prayer. Now, making a petition before yeah. the Lord. Say, worshiping him, adoring him, giving thanks to God. He said, but what to bring before the Lord? We will see the kind, you know, the set of people of, of old, how they presented their own petition before the Lord, their thanksgiving, their adoration, their praise, their worship before the Lord. What does it happen? So what, what does it happen? Now, Adam knew his new Eve. Adam now, he knew new Eve, the wife. And she conceived, and born Cain and said. And she conceived and born Cain. And said, I have acquired a man from the Lord. I have acquired a man from the Lord. Then she bought again. Then she gave back again. This time his brother. And he gave back to his brother Abel. Abel. Yes. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep. Now Abel happened to be a keeper of sheep, a flock bearer. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Let's say Cain was a farmer tilling the ground, planting yam, cassava. Maize, all that we eat, pepper, everything measured them, purple, he measured them. And that what happened? And in the process of time. And in the process of time. It came to pass that came And you know time flies. In the moment of time, they were understanding the nature that God gave to them around them. They knew that somebody's on ground for them that communicate with them, they communicate to all the time. They knew that God was on ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruits of the ground to the Lord. Don't forget that the same God was in the garden. Do come to the garden where the serpent came to their parents to deceive them. Then he says something for that, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Abel also brought of the first born of his they, they both decided to give offering to God, to give thanks to God, to adore God in their, in you know, in, in what they have, in what they have worked for. They want to pay their tithes unto God. They want to give their offering unto God. They want to appreciate God. That is what communication with God does. The first born of his flock and of their fat. Yes. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering, and Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. Do God appreciate your prayer? If 
the kind of prayer you say before the Lord is not favorable. It's not the, the kind of prayer that the Lord wanted from you. You cannot receive a good answer to such a prayer. That is why we pray for grace every day. For how long will you be praying for grace? Coming back again, doing the same thing. We need understanding of God in communicating with Him. Because whatever you go to God, He wants to speak back to you. Will you listen to Him when He speaks to you? Or will you not be able to prepare your mind for what God will, you know, will give to you? And what does he say to them, sir? So the Lord said to Cain. And the Lord now said to Cain, why are you angry? Why are you angry? Why are you angry? And why has your countenance Why fallen? does your countenance need to change? If you do well. If you do well. Will you not be accepted? If you have presented yourself well before me. If what you are doing, what you have done is acceptable. Will I not give you the best? And if you do not do Which well. Which kind of praying or prayer are you raising before the Lord? Which kind of altar are you raising before the Lord? Is your altar an adorable one before the Lord or in a rejected one? The Lord said, I adore the gift of Abel, but I reject that of Cain. What does he say, sir? Okay. And if you do not do well, if you do not uh, do uh, well, sin lies at the door. You know, sin lies at the door. And the desire is for you. And you know what you are doing <laughs> that is not acceptable to God. And you are still lying. You still want God to be, you know, a good God unto you. Instead of you and I to go before the Lord and raise a petition of forgiveness before him, you are saying, God, but 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 you know that I am doing this. I, I pay my time. But you know I dance. I am the one that is doing this one before you. I'm the one. You know, without me, they cannot do this thing. And then God will be laughing. Does he know what he's saying? And Cain was sore. Cain, you know, was not happy. His countenance was changed. And God was even asking him, why is your countenance changed? Why is it that you think your prayer must be answered when you know all the offering must be taken? When you know the source of the offering, you know the source of that money. We are talking about prayer today. Why do you think your prayer must be answered as a leader of a community? Why do you think that your offering should be answered, should be taken up by God? When you reject that of Cain, and you want to reject, I mean, to accept that in your offering, that your thanks gave you, that adoration you put together, that in your worship and your thanking, that you are giving not to him. I'm giving not to him. It goes beyond what we put together. It's all about how do you get what you are using. He says something for that. What does he say? But should you, know, should you rule over it? But now, can't talk of with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field. When they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel. Even when God has spoken with him, somebody yeah. who needed to present himself before the Lord, and God now was speaking to him. He couldn't open his ear to hear what God is saying, but he wanted to do what he had conceived in his mind against his brother. Are you a prayer list who want God to hear your prayers? And what God is saying to you, you cannot open your hair, you cannot open your mind to what God is saying. And you want a good result. What happened to him thereafter? So what does he say? What does he say? But, and Lord Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. And he killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain. And the Lord now came to Cain. Where is Abel your brother? Where is Abel your brother? <coughs> he said, I, he do said not, I do not know. I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, like many of you will do today, after that evil you have done, you now want to come and say, God, forgive me. You knew that you shouldn't have done what you have really put up. And yet, you still want to, you know, rub God into everything that you are doing. Let us think very well today. 
and see how far God wants to take us in this message of prayers. What is it that you are praying about? Why are you praying? What the essence of your praying? He says something to him. After he had killed him. <coughs> then the Lord said to Cain. Cain, so <coughs> said to Cain. Where is your brother? Where is your brother? Where is your brother, Abel? He said, he said, I do not know. I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, and he said, what have you done? What God said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood. These are the voice of your brother's blood. Cries out to me it from the cries ground. cries to heaven. Maybe you don't know that that evil you are doing, cry to heaven. I don't know. Cry to heaven. And I go on my knee, I pray. And I go to church, wherever you pay, you know, you give alms. And tomorrow again, you do another thing. And whatever formula, whatever that way you want to, you know, you are standing to pray for, I mean, to pray unto God. In whatever style you give unto him, some will go on their knees, some will lie down, some will go to the mountain, some will go to the valley. So we travel to Saudi Arabia, they go to Israel, they go to all those places of, of old. I see that is what prayer is all about. Prayer is about communicating with God. Bringing your petition before the Lord and receive answer from the Lord what he wanted you to do over that same matter. They both decided to give an offering to God, to give thanks to God. They decided to give offering to God, to adore God, to worship the Lord with what they have. But one decided to give the, you know, the most rejected, the most rejected gift unto God. What is your gift? What are you giving to God in prayer? That you think, yes, when somebody that is doing better is receiving the best from God, you heavy that person. Instead of you to do the same like that man, to ask him, why do you think God is answering the, the way I look at you? God do answer your prayer. Why? And let that person tell you, well, I don't do another thing than this and this and this. Instead of Cain, to know why the answer was given to the petition of Abel. He, killed, he decided to kill him after he had even had the voice of the Lord shaking on him. Hallelujah. Amen. No wonder today we don't cherish talking to God, but we cherish doing things in our own way. And the end of it will be hellfire. fire. Any situation where you don't have the fullness of God will end up in shambu, in trouble. He says something for that to him. What does he say? So now, so now, you are caused from the earth. You are caused from the heaven. From the earth. From this earth, yes. Which has opened from his heaven. mouth. From heaven, you are caused from heaven. Which has opened his mouth. The earth has opened his mouth. To receive your brother's blood from your hand. Oh, yes. When you till the ground. When you now till the ground. He shall no longer yield the strength Like the God that was placed on his father. Is receiving so now. Maybe the cause that has been placed on your father, maybe it shouldn't have worked on you. Maybe you are the one that causing your own cause to come upon you. I'm the one causing my upon myself. What are we saying? Praying to God is a channel where you can iron things with God. You can take that battle life to God in prayer, not God's. Because when you take your case to God, maybe along the line we'll see what it means not to give our life back to God. Let's present our life to God. What does it say happen to them, sir? A fugitive, a fugitive. And a vagabond, you shall be on earth. Uh -huh. And Cain said to the Lord, He said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than my I My punishment can is greater than I can be that can be our oh God. Surely, you, Surely. Have, you have driven me out of this day. You have driven me from this day. From the face of the ground, uh -huh. I shall be hidden from so, your face. He can't remember that he has sent his brother to this same earth too. But when it's come to his own now, he was now begging God. Hallelujah. Amen. No wonder. A killer <laughs> wouldn't want himself to be killed. 
You see them around us today. You want, you love to do evil against somebody, even in prayer. You know the kind of prayer you are praying upon somebody. Because you know there is a God that answers prayers. Mm. You, need no, you need to know how to pray. So that the, 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 the voice of another person will not terrorize your life in silence. They know where they go. They know where they conjure together. You better choose God today as your petition here. So that this world will not condemn you before the last condemnation come. Because the moment you face out the ways of the Lord and turn to the ways of the devil, that's happened. It will destroy your life to come at the end of the day. And it will, it will happen that anyone who finds me, anyone that finds me, will kill me. They will kill me. And the Lord said to him, And the Lord said, Therefore, therefore whoever kills you, whoever kills you, king, yes, vengeance shall be taken on him. Vengeance shall be taken for me. Seven folds. Seven folds. And the Lord set a mark on king. That's okay, sir. Let's see what Genesis 6 or 5 says, rather, to see. What 22 and 24 says. We are talking about praying to God. When you pray to God, I congratulate you. What does he say, sir? After he begot Michela. After he began Methuselah. Enoch walked with the with Enoch God. Enoch walked with the Lord. 300 years. 300 years. And had sons and daughters. Yes. So all the days of Enoch. All the days of Enoch. Were 365 years. Yes. <clears throat> And Enoch walked with God. And when, when we are talking about walking with God, means somebody who communicates with God, who speaks to God day and night, is the one that is walking with God, that is doing the right thing before the Lord. He doesn't have any other God. He doesn't allow any other spirit to use him. You can live as Methuselah and walk with the Lord. What does this say happen to him there, sir? And Enoch walked with God. Yes. And he was not. He was not. And he was not found. For God took him. The Lord took him. How best are you walking? How are you now standing before the Lord, waiting on the Lord in your petitioning to him, not to other gods? The moment you bring other gods across your way with God, you will not be as favorable as he wanted you. So let us see what the Lord said in the book of Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter 7. Let's see what verse 7, you know, to 12 says to us there. Ask. Ask. And it will be given I, to you. It will be given unto you. Seek. Petition to me. I will give it to you. And you will find. Seek. Is he talking about petitioning to God? Are you fine? Raising your prayer before the Lord. I know somebody will say, I'll be praying to God. We are coming there. He's just saying, raise your prayer to God. He says, I will answer you. Knock. The door shall be opened unto you. And it will be open to you. It will be open to you in prayer. So everyone who asks receives. Everyone that asks God receives. And he who seeks finds. When whoever seeks finds. And in him who knocks, it will be open. When you pray to God, Listen to whatever he say back to you. Oh. You know, so many people will say, "Ah, my dream is bad today." Hey, I do tell you, it's not even dream that is bad. Dream this be bad to you in prayer. Maybe you don't understand what God is saying. Several days when God speaks to somebody like me, I will say to God, "I do understand <laughs> what you are saying. I do understand, sir." And God will now come back again to tell me what the meaning is. We say we have in the Bible where God will give, you know, dreams and revelations. And they will understand. They'll be looking for who will interpret it to them. Many, would, when they wake up in their dream, ah, it's a bad dream. And they began to go wire from one pillar to the other. When you speak to God, he will want to speak back to you. To give it solution to that problem you are talking about. But when you don't understand it, you'll be running to somebody that will mislead you before the Lord. What does he say for that, sir? For whoever everyone who asks receives. Whoever asks, receives. And he because will... God doesn't want to deceive anybody. He doesn't the reason why God will want to hear your prayer is because he wouldn't want to give room for excuse. That the reason why I go to that God is because I pray to you, God, you didn't answer me. 
Somebody who have not prayed to God, just came to God once. Somebody you have never befriended before, never seen you before, just call you and say, oh, but you know what? I need so, 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 somebody, I need that money. Uh, who are you? Where are you coming from? The same God too. You just call God once and say, because God didn't answer you, therefore there is no God. No, it doesn't work that way. Have a relationship with that God. Build a relationship with that God. Let him know that, yeah, you are the one knocking. Hallelujah. Amen. Knock the door shall be opened unto you. You knock the door just once, and you leave the door open. You say, nobody at home. Maybe somebody you are knocking is door at door. is somewhere else. Knock again. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when God is with you, knock the door again. Again and again, let him know that you are the only one, God, that I rely upon. Don't face, don't, don't, don't show to God that you have another alternate before him or after him. He says something for that. Sir. Or what man is there among you? Or what man there among you? If his son asks for bread, if his children ask for bread, will he give him a stone? Will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, God is saying to you, you are my son. If you earthly fathers, brother and sister, will not give stone as a replacement of bread for your sons and your daughter, how much more he in heaven? How much more he that is God that say, ask, it shall be given you. Knock, my door, we open it unto you. He's not a deceiver. God is not a deceiver. He says something for that, sir. Oh, that if he asks for a fish. Yes. Will he give him a serpent? Will he give him a serpent? If the, if you that then, will be that that will cause you no know, fear to him or her. If you then been evil, if you that is evil woman, evil man, know how to give good gift to know your children, how to give good gift to your children. How much? How more much more will your father? I that created you. Who is in heaven? Who is in heaven? Give good. Who have everything in his hand? Give good in things. his treasure. We we'll not know what he should give unto you. To those who ask him. Ah uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. If I had created you, the assets you should ask me. If I don't give it to you, who then will I do I think should give it to you? It means I'm giving loophole for you to go to another God. Therefore, therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, whatever you want men to do unto you, do also to them. Do also to them. If you want to deceive people, you want to, to deceive, deceive people. That's what God is saying. I'm not here to deceive you. If I want to be a deceiver, then I will expect you to deceive me too. <laughs> this is the Lord and the prophet. That's the Lord and the prophet. Whatever you hear from the Lord, do it. Then he give you a good result. <laughs> Prayer is about communicating. Lay your supplement, lay your supplication before the Lord, your heart, your secret unto God, and let Him work on it. There are, I believe, there are there are a lot to talk about this prayer. Beat from the Lord. Whatever I says about Him, bring again. If you want to be prayed for, I release you to the hands of the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ will pray for you. He prayed for Peter. And Peter never miss it. For you not to miss it, receive the anointing from our Lord that will be prayed for in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, you are the one that say, who are thou mortal before Zerubbabel? Everything that has become obstacle on your good way shall be removed by prayer of today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer from above. Amen. We sort you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please do it now. If you tell people, what is it to give that to Jesus Christ? It's to surrender yourself to the teaching that I brought to you. Everything is said you must do, you must not do. And here to you, enter to you to, because that is where the judgment will come from. Don't let anybody deceive that the rationale of Jesus Christ is enough for you. So people say, hey, the moment you confess that you, like, you don't have it, no, 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 it's beyond that too. It's not about confession alone, no. It's about doing what God Say so you must do is that's why I said whatever you don't want men to do unto you, don't do it unto others. He said that's the last resort. Oh, 
Whatever you don't want, you don't want to kill, you don't want them to kill you, to kill your child. Don't kill another person's child. Don't kill another person. You know, whatever you don't want. You don't want your man to be stolen. Don't steal another person's money. Whatever, you know, you don't want anybody to take your wife or your husband to bed. Don't do it to another person. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't do it to another person. That is the last resort to show that, yes, I am walking in the Lord toward the kingdom of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not about, uh, uh, look at everyone. The moment, the moment you hate, you say you, you hate Jesus Christ, you will hate the good word that he brought here. Because you'll be condemning the word that he brought here. That's the danger there. Praying to God. In order for God to pray back to you. We need it at this time. In order for us to live a, you know, a peaceful world more than ever. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. If Jesus started, we'll come back the same time next week. And for me, from the man of God, we are saying, God bless you, Jesus. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Prophet Stephen Larolotu from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock, you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wonderful story of love. Wonderful story of love. So you are